I have a copper pipe held in a clamp stand all on top of a balance which I've zeroed. But can you predict what will happen to the balance reading when I drop a magnet through the copper pipe? The magnet takes a very long time to fall through the copper pipe. Dropping a magnet and a pound coin in between these aluminium blocks gives us some insight in how the magnet falls inside the copper pipe. But back to my original question, what do you think is going to happen to the balance reading when I drop the magnet through the copper pipe? Pause the video, make your prediction and see if you can explain the reasoning for your prediction. We can see that the balance reading increases up to about 4.64 grams. But watch what happens. As the magnet lands, the balance reading finishes at almost exactly that amount of 4.64 grams with the magnet on the balance. So when we drop the magnet through the copper pipe, the reading on the balance increases up to the mass of the magnet and then it stops there. So let's see if we can explain why that is using physics. When the magnet is dropped, the only force acting on it to begin with is its weight, which causes it to accelerate. As the magnet falls, the magnetic flux linking the copper pipe changes, which induces a potential difference or EMF across the pipe, which causes a current to flow around in the pipe, which creates its own magnetic field, which opposes the change that caused it, which creates a magnetic force up, on the magnet. This force up continues to increase as the magnet accelerates until it is equal to the magnet's weight, at which point the resultant force on the magnet is zero and the magnet falls at terminal velocity. But because of Newton's third law, which says when two objects interact they exert equal and opposite forces on each other, if the magnet is experiencing a force up, the copper pipe will experience an equal force down so as the magnet accelerates up to its terminal velocity, the force up on the magnet increases to be equal to the weight of the magnet, and the force down on the copper pipe, by Newton's third law, increases to be equal to the weight on the magnet as well. And that causes the balance reading to increase until it is equal to the mass of the magnet. I have ignored air resistance, which could provide an additional force up on the magnet, which would mean that the force down on the copper pipe was a little bit less than the weight of the magnet whilst it was falling through the pipe. But that clearly, from the readings that I got, isn't significant in my case.